we are giving you a heads up right now. This video will have you scratching, itching, shifting in your seat, and probably inspecting every single bite mark left on your skin. There's no denying that these human-loving bugs are creepy, and we hope that you will take every precaution to avoid being bitten by any of these flesh-loving insects. African Driver Ants There is little to no chance this horror would ever unfold, but in case it should, I feel a sense of duty to warn you. If you are ever in the African bush and befall a terrible accident, the kind that would render you unable to crawl yourself to safety, and you happen to land where there were millions of African driver ants, then there is a slim chance the ants might just suffocate you with their massive bodies and eat you alive from the inside out. The ants I am referring to, the African driver ant. They are a nomadic carnivore with a taste for human flesh. They roam the African continent in search of a meal. When they are in large numbers and find a potential meal, they will overwhelm their prey under a massive pile of their bodies, potentially suffocating them. They crawl into their meal through any access point and begin to munch down right away, even when they are still alive. Their eating habits are voracious. They will strip the flesh from bones in less than a day. But most likely you won't encounter a man-sized pile of flesh-eating ants, so rest easy. Mosquitoes Something we will all encounter is the common mosquito. They terrorize us with their high-pitched flight paths just above our sleeping heads. And if we didn't despise them enough for the itchy lumps they leave all over us, they are also the bringer of numerous blood diseases. They are known to spread malaria, dengue fever, yellow fever, and West Nile virus. They get their name from the Spanish word for little fly, but little devil would be more accurate. They hone into their prey, usually a soundly sleeping you and me, with laser-like precision, as they detect infrared radiation emitted by their host. They particularly lock onto a host's emissions of carbon dioxide and lactic acid. This, the mozzies can track from up to 100 feet away, or 30 meters. Malaria is the largest killer in Africa. So, by association, mosquitoes are the most dangerous animals on the continent. A small consolation is that only the females bite, but the average female can drink up to her own body weight in blood. Without this, she can't develop her eggs and ensure the survival of another generation of carbon-seeking terrors. Head lice Head lice are gross, but head lice are also inevitable. And if you have a child of kindergarten age, you will have at least experienced a lice scare once. Most of us think that lice are interested in hair, but that's not the reality. Lice are actually bloodsuckers, like ticks. They live on the scalp where the skin is thinner, so they can penetrate easily with a bite and then suck your blood. A head is also kitted out with all the lice needs to ensure longevity of its species. Of course, the all-day blood buffet is a plus, but strands of hair are also the perfect nesting ground for its eggs. Bed bugs. Another vampire bug is the bed bug. We don't often think of these bedridden bugs as bloodsuckers, but that is their exact modus operandi. Like fellow blood lovers, the mosquito, they hone in on us by tracing our carbon dioxide releases. When they get a whiff of the carbon dioxide that we exhale as we sleep, they creep out of their hiding places in the nooks and crannies of our beds and range around our skin for a snack. It's a terrible thought, but thankfully, bed bugs have largely been eradicated in any major infestations, and regular washing of your sheets and covers keeps them away. In the 1940s, they were eradicated and were a distant memory. However, in the 1990s, because of pesticide resistance, they made a brief comeback. But to date, they are keeping to their corner and haven't bugged us humans en masse since. Chiggers Chiggers are part of the tick family, but part of their life cycle is that as larvae, they find a host and need to suck their blood. They only reach 0.4 millimeters big, so are practically microscopic. So these gross grubs hop on a dog, human, or other warm-blooded creature, and then begin the unique blood drilling process. Instead of biting through the host's skin with teeth, they use chemicals that bore a hole right into the blood-filled flesh below. This is when they feast on their first blood meal. When fattened and satisfied by the all-you-can-eat blood buffet, they drop off the host and then continue their life cycle into mature adult form, which is harmless in comparison. The Tumbu Fly There is a new nightmare in town and it is called the Tumbu Fly or Mango Fly. Luckily, they're only common in East and Central Africa, so most of the world are safe from them. These lurchers plant their eggs on your laundry. 
The eggs then transfer to your skin and burrow down into your flesh. From there, they hatch and grow into larva. Are you still with us? At this point, the host might see a blister or boil and not think much of it. But beneath the surface are live maggots feeding off your flesh and blood. The finale ends with the sore bursting open in a gory scene of pus and living lava. If you aren't running away in fear by now, the way to ensure you are never affected is to iron your clothes before you wear them to kill off any eggs. If ever you needed a motivation for ironing, now you have it. Dust mites You are never alone when you have dust mites, and seeing as these minuscule critters live in every nook and cranny in the world, you are truly never alone. They are hardly noticeable, measuring in at 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters long, and are semi-translucent, so can easily slip past your gaze undetected. They are found anywhere people are, because they have a hunger for humans' dead skin flakes and other organic material. Because our homes are crawling with the stuff, the dust mite army is never far from us. Occasionally, a lonely dust mite might go right for the main prize and latch onto a human host. They burrow under our skin to feast. This can cause an allergic reaction to the enzymes they secrete when breaking down their food. Jigger The jigger, or chigo flea, is mostly interested in your feet. The female finds a nice point of easy entry and burrows in, eating the flesh as she goes. Once she is inside the host, she swells to about the size of a pea, with its rear facing outwards. From this position, she makes herself at home, laying eggs and feeding. When done, she simply drops off. But this is when the real problems happen. If undetected, the next generation will start snacking on you. It leaves behind an empty honeycomb-shaped wound that often goes infected. Yikes! Face mites Let's cut to the chase. Face mites sound horrendous. But the reality is that studies show that almost everyone has or has had them on their face at some point. Demodex folliculorum spend their days living in hair follicles on the human face. They are a tiny worm with claws and scales around 0.1 to 0.4 millimeters in length. They are harmless and post no threat to humans, if that helps. Botfly larva. We didn't need more reasons to hate the mosquito, but when you partner it with the botfly, it becomes the least popular insect ever. So the adult botfly lays its eggs on a mosquito. Then the mosquito bites a human, which happens to be the botfly's favorite host. The eggs move from the mozzie to the human in the hole that the mosquito conveniently made. Once inside the human, the botfly eggs grow and then hatch as larva, and go to town eating human flesh and drinking their blood for about three months of incubated bliss. When they are big enough, they morph into an adult stage of a botfly and fly out of their host. Talk about a big reveal! Scabies mites Scabies looks like a kind of scabby rash on your skin, but it actually runs deeper than that. The rash means you have a full infestation already between the top layers of skin. The mites have moved from the top layer onto their next stage of life, egg laying. This happens below the top surface of skin. They burrow down eating their way as they go. They make a tiny hole and lay their eggs safely nestled in layers of you. Females stay in their skin burrow for two months, feeding and checking on her eggs and nourishing her babies with your skin flakes. So that's what is already happening when you see that rash. Belly button bacteria. The belly button is an undisturbed tropical paradise for bacteria. The conditions are perfectly warm, no friction, largely untouched, and like a little enclosed human ecosystem to hide out in. Within a person's navel can be any number of thousands of different bacteria that love proximity to human flesh and the warmth of a human's touch. Perhaps a consolation to knowing you might be carrying an ecosystem in your belly button is that they are all microscopic, so you won't necessarily ever have to see them. Time to be honest. Have you ever been bitten by one of these flesh-loving insects? Let us know in the comments below. Number 1. Ticks As if you needed any more reason to despise the dreaded tick, these disease-spreading bloodsuckers are part of the spider clan. Falling under the family tree of arachnid, the tick family branches into two, hard and soft ticks. There are 800 species of these skin-crawling critters. They have been found as fossils, dating back as far as 90 million years of blood-sucking antics. The reason ticks bite and hang on to humans or their animal hosts 
is that ticks need a blood meal to move on to the next part of their life cycle. If they were just in it for a quick meal, it wouldn't be so bad, as they don't drain enough blood to make a human or animal sick. However, they spread tick-borne diseases to their host by transmitting microbes as they bite. Some, like Lyme disease, can be deadly for the host.